In this video, we will discuss how to go about creating drawings of components that have been created in a top-down assembly process. You will notice that within this top-down assembly that I have named component drawing video, I have three separate components. I have a base, I have a cylinder, and I have a cover. I have created these through using the parametric design process by naming dimensions a certain word where they can be designed parametrically. For my component of my base, notice I just have an origin, and then I have bodies, and then I have sketches. I only created this rectangle with one sketch, which then I extruded and created one body. For my cylinder, I only had one sketch also, and I only have one body. For my cover, I have three different bodies. And notice as I drag my mouse over the top of these bodies that they show up. Now, this is one component, which is known as the cover. It is in red. There are three separate bodies for that component. I did this on purpose because when we go in and create drawings, you're going to notice how you can create drawings of just one of these bodies at a time, should you choose to. I had multiple sketches in this as well. So I'm going to go ahead and collapse these. And we're going to do a drawing of just the base for the sake of discussion. I'm going to right click on base. Let me just tap outside here real quick. I'm going to right click on base and I'm going to create drawing. And you're going to see your create drawing dialog box show up and it's going to say contents. And what you're going to say is full assembly or just what's visible. We're just going to stay with where we are. And we're going to go to my PLTW title block. If you're taking class with me, you should have that already loaded. And we're going to say OK. And automatically it's going to load. You're going to see my name. I can go ahead and edit my you know, size here. I'm going to stay at a half. I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to go ahead and go to project, project my drawing. Click my check mark. We have our hidden lines. So we started our drawing. We've gone ahead and started our drawing from there. Now. Next step we will take is we can go back to our assembly file. We can right click on cylinder and we can go to create drawing. Again, PLTW title block. I'm going to come right back in. I'm going to have my cylinder right here. I'm going to go to a larger, uh, let's go ahead and just, I'll, tell you what, I'll just stay with a half for this one. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to project my views. Check mark. We have our drawing created. Now let's go back to our assembly file. And in this case, you're going to see in the cover, I have multiple bodies here. Now you can say, let's just go ahead and just make a drawing of just the whole entire cover itself. And you can make a valid argument for that. But if let's just say you had a part that just had a ton of bodies in it, and you're like, you know what, I only just want a drawing of just a specific body. I'm going to show you how you can go in and change that. So in this case, I'm going to go oh, two to one's way too big. Let's see what one to one. Can I do one to one? No, let's try for, let's just go for a half then. One half. I'm just going to go ahead and place that and say OK. And you'll notice that underneath cover over here, I can see the bodies of the part. I've placed the full assembly. But if you're saying, you know what, this is actually going to look a little bit like a table. And I just want to do a drawing of just, let's just say, the top of the table. You know, just for the sake of what we're talking about here. Let's just go ahead and take a look at what that table would look like. You know, if I wanted to say, you know, this is my table, I'm going to double click on just this, just this part right here. Let's go ahead and just change the scale for this. I'm going to go to, it's one half right now. I'm going to go to 0.25 just for that, just so we can see it. And if you're saying, no, all I want is the top of the table, what I can do is I'm going to take away the visibility over here of those bottom bodies, and they go away. Now, if you say, no, actually, what I want to do is just those little side parts. And if you said, you know, really, they're both the same size. I only need one of them. I can just do the drawing of just one. And notice how everything automatically changes. It's a nice step and a way to create drawings in Fusion. So when you have a full assembly and you just want one drawing of a particular component, you can just right click on that, go to new, new drawing, and that's how you can go about creating drawings. A common problem people have had is when they do top-down modeling, they don't see the part over here. All they see is the assembly. Well, this is how you can go about creating drawings within that top-down assembly model. 
So this has been a video for how to go about creating drawings from a top-down assembly process in Fusion 360.